get the little Pantone like color card things that you can get, fucking look through them and create some new shades for Christ's sake. I haven't done one of these in a hot minute and that is because to be honest all of the makeup that has been getting released so far in 2021 has been so fucking boring to me. Today's probably not going to be that much difference really but there is a couple of products that's been released and I'm like oh yeah that's not too bad so I thought I might film one of these while the positivity is flowing if you know what I mean. Anyway, basically what I'm saying is we are talking about new makeup releases today and it is a video where I sit down and uh, look at my Instagram. I go on trend mood and usually hot fire makeup and stuff and I look at the new makeup releases and tell you my opinion. Now, I'm going to give you a disclaimer. I am brutally honest. I'm not saying it's a good thing. I'm just saying that I am brutally honest and I tend to forget my filter when I film these. I don't know what happens, but it all just comes out. I don't actually care. <laughs> I will say whatever I'm thinking, you know, probably not a great thing. Like if I wanted to get on PR and stuff, I probably should like filter it a little bit, but honestly, I just don't care. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Actually, this is an interesting topic and I might talk about it in like a get ready with me or something. So let me know if you're interested, but I feel like when I first started Instagram and everything, which was like 2017 or whatever, I, um, really wanted to like get on PR lists and get all this free stuff and then as I get older or more experienced in social media like yes getting free stuff would be awesome and getting the releases before they launch would be awesome and saving a lot of money would be awesome but at the same time I actually like don't care anymore <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think one, buying makeup, even though it's like so much money, is so exciting. And two, I just want to be able to be completely honest without feeling pressured in any way about that honesty. So yeah, anyway, that is a complete side tangent. Let me know if you're interested in like hearing all of my other thoughts about that topic. You know, anyway. Let's get started. We're talking about new makeup releases. Don't forget to do all of the YouTube things. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Thank you so much if you do. And now I'm just going to jump onto trend mood. I have my phone here. So going on to trend mood, let's have a look. A new beauty brand. First up off the ranks. I usually start from the top and work myself and work myself, work my way down, by the way. Um, so yeah, anyway, you don't care. Um, say hello to Sensorium Beauty by Alexis Stone and the first launch includes the Brow Engineer. So it's an ultimate paint that enables you to not only lighten, enhance or remove your brows in a new way unseen before but can be used to cut the crease, brow and conceal with its setting formula and highly pigmented coverage. That is unique. That is a unique product and well fucking done. Is it a product I would buy? Probably, oh, maybe I would like for creative looks, that would actually be pretty cool. So maybe I would give it a go. But first of all, just well fucking done for coming out with a product that we don't have. I mean, because as I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments down below. But from my knowledge, most of the time when people want to conceal, like get rid of their brows, they they um use glue and then conceal over it. I think. That's what happens. So if that's the case, like I haven't seen anything like this. So well done. If you are going to release a new beauty brand, go for it. I think that more the better because like you can only, choice is great. Um, but bring out something unique and not the same fucking shit over and over again. And that's what Alexis has done. So well done. I like it. This one actually I am super excited about. So excited. So Huda Beauty is releasing a new improved um, faux filter foundation formula. So her foundation that her like original foundation, not the stick foundation that she brought out, she's releasing a new formula because she has listened to the feedback from her customers and reformulated it to cater to that. And I think that is incredible and well done to listening to your customers because it would have been very easy. You know, there's enough ride or die Huda Beauty fans that would just kind of like keep using her products for the sake of her name, that she probably didn't have to do that. No offense if you are that person, like I have brands like that as well. I'm glad that she's like really taken the feedback into account and changed it. So I know for me personally, the biggest thing with Huda Beauty complexion products was that she put so much freaking fragrance in these products that I couldn't use them because my skin 
is sensitive and break like I get full-blown acne if there's a lot of or any fragrance really um, in a product and I also have really sensitive skin so I need things to be like non comedogenic etc so anyway she has improved the formula now it says back with the same full coverage and long-lasting properties you know and love from the OG formula but with 24 hour flexible wear a luminous matte finish I'm not quite sure how you get a luminous matte finish so I'll be very intrigued about that and it's fake fragrance free fucking amazing amazing um, so it's still liquid, it's still full coverage, matte luminous finish, 40 US dollars, fragrance free, vegan, non comedogenic, waterproof, 24 hour wear, and mask slash transfer proof. So it launches on the January 25th on their website. I actually may even pick this up to be honest. I really might. I might give it a geese. Look at this, we are off to a positive fucking start. I don't know if I've ever been this positive on, on a new makeup release video this quick off the bat, so there you go. Um, okay, so Pat, we all know how much I love and adore my Pat, because I do. She is releasing the Divine Rose, I didn't actually know that this wasn't permanent, so there you go. Um, but she's releasing the Divine Rose 2 collection um, as part of like the permanent or as a permanent line in her brand, I guess I should say. So she's releasing the Divine Rose in the pink packaging. She's got the quad, which is really pretty. She's got the lips and the mascara. I didn't realize that was part of that collection. So there you go. Um, and then she's also releasing a highlighter, which I am very excited to see what that looks like on a lighter skin tone. I'm not sure if it will suit my kind of pale pasty face, but if it does, you know I'm gonna buy it. You know I am. Big borrow steel, I'll buy it. I really will. Lime Crime also just released new liquid eyeliners and they look pretty good actually. I really like the colors they've released. I think the colors are very, very unique. Uh, like Misty looks really, really intriguing to me. Marigolds, Lavender, Dewdrop, Penny. They look really, really pretty. I, I, I really do think that. It's also, oh, it's a water-based formula. I love water-based eyeliners. So excited! I probably won't go out of my way to pick these up, but maybe one day, like if I'm looking for like colorful eyeliners or I'm like, I've got some money, I'm gonna splurge, I might pick some of these up because I love a water-based eyeliner and I love a colorful eyeliner and I don't have any colors like that in my collection. Colourpop. Colourpop. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with Colourpop at the moment. Actually, I just did another Colourpop order last week because my mum told me that she would like a green eyeshadow palette. And Colourpop was... I will give them one thing. They have those beautiful nine pan, um, like, one-tone coloured palettes, like green, blue, etc. So I got my mum the blue one for Christmas, actually. She freaking loved it because she loves blue eyeshadow now. She's like green eyeshadow. So I got her the mint one. But while I was there, they also had the pastel eyeliner roll that they released with the rainbow palette in stock. So I picked that up too, which I'm very excited about. Anyway, you probably don't care. So I have a love-hate relationship with them because I just find a lot of their products are good. They're good quality. Their packaging's phenomenal. Like when they release a themed collection, it's on point, that packaging. It's always stunning, stunning, stunning. But for me, they just keep releasing the same shit over and over again, and it's really starting to do my head in. Really starting to do my head in. Now, the one thing I love about this collection, and again, I say this lightly because I don't, I'm not a makeup artist, so I don't have a lot of experience in this area. Like I wouldn't be able to tell you what tones look good on anybody else. <laughs> regardless of what skin tone you are. But I am going to assume from the looks of this, this is definitely more dark, like medium to dark skin, deep dark friendly, which is awesome because a lot of the releases that they do are just suited to my skin tone. So I think that this is a really, really good release because of that. Will I pick it up? No, because I have all of these colors in my collection already and most people will. Um, but I think the fact that they have catered a little bit more to a darker skin tone, again, I could be wrong about that. I don't have a whole lot of experience, but I think that's really, really good. But it's just also a little bit of like the same thing that they keep releasing, but it is a lot darker. So I guess it's not the same thing. Okay, I'll give them that. I like this because it's more catered to a friendlier skin, like it's more catered to a deep, like a darker skin tone than myself for the first time. 
ever and they get a pat on the back for that so let's hope they keep that energy going okay so here's another one that like one picture down they've released and that is the off melrose collection again see this is a really good example of it being like my skin tone friendly because both of those blushes are only in a suit like maybe slightly darker skin tone than me anyway They've got some luxe lips, lip oils, etc. But uh, this is a perfect example of them releasing same shit different fucking day. Like those blush tones, they have released them every single fucking collection that they have started releasing since 2020. These are the same fucking tones, just in different packaging. Maybe slightly varied, slightly. The luxe lip oils look like different tones, fine, yeah, whatever. I mean, they have clear one already, but you know. Um, and then the eyeshadow palette, same shadows, different fucking day. Why? 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 Do we keep, do we need to keep releasing? Like, I know that you are a lab. You are a makeup cosmetic lab. You make your own cosmetics. Create some new colors. Get the little Pantone, like, color card things that you can get. Fucking look through them and create some new shades, for Christ's sake. Because stop releasing the same neutral shades over and over again. It's so boring. Rant over. Now, Natasha Denona, we all saw this coming. She has released her Valentine's Day collection. It's the uh, Love Mini collection. I think this is cute. Like, I really do. Um, also, I'm sorry if you can hear my chair constantly squeaking. It's so annoying. I don't know how to fix it, but like, it's ergonomic. So, leave me alone. Anyway, Mini Love Collection. I think this is cute. Like, the blush and highlighter is adorable with the little love hearts on the pan and the little packaging at the front it's 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 very cute and the eyeshadow palette as well is really really cute I love like the pink tones I personally wouldn't pick it up just because I wouldn't see myself using this a whole lot or reaching for it a whole lot maybe if I was going to pick up anything I would definitely pick up the blush and highlighter duo I would probably potentially pick that up it looks like it is a cream blush there you go cream blush from the diamond and blush glow pal palette Right, and then the highlighter. Okay, so then I wouldn't pick this up now that I know it's a cream because I don't really use cream blushes at all. So, but I like it. It's cute. The packaging's cute. It's pretty. There you go. Look at that. Something positive. So here is one that I'm V excited, like so excited for, and I hope they get released in Australia soon because I know they're released in the US already, but we still don't even have the matte foundation that they just, they released last year. So who knows? But uh, it is the Soft Matte Tinted Lip Balm from NARS. So they've released like a nude collection of tinted lip balms. I like these. I really want the color Intimate because that looks super nice and like it would, oh, I actually pretty much want all of these. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. I don't even want to say anymore. They're just gorgeous. Six nude shades for every skin tone. Let's actually have a look. Okay, so it goes dark. I'm not sure again how about that skin tone range, but I need to stop touching my chest because I'm going to go bright red. I don't know why I'm doing it as well, so stop it. Anyway. Stop it. Get some help. I really, really like these. I think they're beautiful. 28 US dollars each. They are a little bit pricey, but... um. Okay, so bamboo fibers impact impart a soft focus effect while a blend of amino acid powder and olive oil wax help condition lips. It's interesting. Yeah, I'm interested to try them. Colourpop again <laughs> has released an Animal Crossing collection. Now, I have to be completely honest and tell you how old and boring and lame I am, but I don't even really know what Animal Crossing is. I think, is it on Switch or something? I don't know. I, I, I could care less. Oh my god, okay. Um, so I'm not into the craze of the Animal Crossing. <laughs> But uh, let's talk about the collection, just strictly speaking, on interest from a makeup person. Again, these blushes, what the fuck? It's literally the same blushes that were released in the previous collection, the Melrose one that we just talked about, but now it's in Animal Packaging Crossing. Like, there's other colors you can bring out. There, there really are. Good choice. The eyeshadow quads, I think, like, I feel like if you're someone that, one, likes these mini eyeshadow palettes, and two, just wants a little, like maybe you don't have a lot of makeup in your collection and you just want like maybe a little green palette or a little purple palette or you travel a lot and you just want something super small because you don't really wear a lot of makeup on the day but you just want something kind of just quick and easy. Then the quads are kind of cute. But speaking from someone that has a lot of makeup in their collection or if you're a makeup lover, I don't know. God, they seem a bit boring, don't they? They just seem a bit boring. 
Kaleidos, which I is a brand that I really desperately want to try. I just haven't gotten around to purchasing anything from them yet. But they have collabed with Angelica Nyquist, which I she's a really big YouTuber. She does a lot of makeup stuff, and I think this is an awesome collaboration. So congrats to her. And this eyeshadow palette, it's called the Club Nebula palette. And it's really, really pretty. Like the blues are stunning. That pop of green is beautiful. Like I really do like this palette. I think it's very pretty and it's something a little bit different. And I think the shimmers look, oh, they look pretty. I wouldn't, like I'm not going to personally pick this up just because I have recently put a lot of new blue eyeshadows into my collection. And there's only so many blues you need. Um, and I have like a lot of these tones that I've kind of recently just purchased. So I'm not personally going to pick it up, but I do think it's a really pretty palette. And I think that if you don't have these tones, this would be a really good option. I haven't tried their formula, but people rave about it. So I'm very excited to try it. Tarte. Tarte. So they have released the this like new Tartlet palette which looks like a combination of all of the palettes that they have released over the last two years just put together in this fucking ugly as fuck packaging with this ugly as fuck eyeshadow pan shape that looks tacky as all hell. Need I say more? But seriously, like, I don't know what happened with Tarte. Did their creative, like, their product Whoever designed the products originally, did they leave or something? Did they decide to change? Like what happened here? They've released this product over and over and over again. They've just amalgamated it into one palette now. It's so ugly. Like the original Tartlet palettes were special because their packaging was luxurious. It was beautiful. Like you wanted to put the Tartlet in Bloom palette on display everywhere in your house. It was so pretty. The palettes were, I mean, granted they were very neutral palettes and at that time there wasn't as many eyeshadow palettes. So they were kind of more unique and like, yes, I, I need that. But at the same time, they were still beautiful and different at that time. And I just feel like they've gotten stuck in that phase and then gotten it's just gone downhill from there. I don't know. They were so, so popular and it's just, they have not progressed with the times. It really surprises me for such a brand that held so much popularity. It just surprises me so much. Anyway, this palette is fucking boring. No, I will not be picking it up. Yeah, that's it. That's all of the new makeup releases. As always, like 100% let me know your thoughts down below. Super intrigued to see if, you know, you guys feel the same way I do or if I'm just really just a nasty little picky bitch. Probably that. Probably that. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. I am super... I, I always love hearing what you guys think about new makeup releases. It's like my favorite thing to talk about. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Thank you so much if you do and thank you if you're watching till this point. I truly appreciate you. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time. Bye!